a problem. I forgot to apply primer. How did I do that? How did I forget applying primer? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be comparing a Indian bridal makeup look to American bridal makeup look. The Indian bridal makeup is known for the vibrant colors and intricate details. On the other hand, American bridal makeup look tends to focus on the natural, soft, fresh face appearance. I actually been watching like Bollywood movies since I was a little kid. So I have watched like so many movies. I have learned so many things about the culture, the food, the clothes, the weddings. Um, I actually have a best friend who recently got married. I went to her wedding and her husband is from India. The wedding was glamorous, like colorful and beautiful. And the bride herself looked so pretty and the gold, the red, the dress, everything just like looks so good together. So I wanted to show case that look for you guys and I'm gonna be wearing like that culture um, jewelries and dress at the end of the video so you guys can see how it looks on the American side and how it looks on the Indian side I hope you guys love this video and before we start make sure to subscribe my channel click the bell icon so you're updated with any future uploads so if you're here to learn the Indian look and the American look then this is the right place so let's just get started This is the most exciting video of my channel. For some reason, I love doing these kind of videos. I love doing the colorful makeup. So before we begin applying a makeup, it's initial to prepare the skin properly. So start by cleansing your face with a gentle cleanser and then continue by applying moisturizer that is suitable for your skin type. My AM and PM skincare routine is a little bit different than what I do before makeup application. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. I would love to show you guys. After I cleanse my face, first I like to go with the hydration spray from Mirad and then I continue my skincare with the Depology serums and of course you guys know by now I never ever skip this part of my skincare which is the under eyes the only product that I use before makeup is the L'Oreal hydration hyaluronic acid serum give yourself one extra minute to massage under your eyes and also the face area so it can make your face look plumpy and fresh so once you finish applying everything on your skin give your skincare products to absorb onto your skin for at least like five minutes or less so I officially forgot to apply primer but that's okay I'm gonna tell you guys not to forget primer so when applying primer focus on areas with a visible pores or a texture so basically primers helps to create a smooth canvas minimizes the appearance of pores and ensures your makeup lasts longer so make sure give yourself a few moments before we move on on this side we're doing the American bridal makeup and on this side we're doing the Indian bridal makeup so let's pick the foundation for the American side we're picking something that's natural airbrush and also lightweight foundation that matches the skin tone and for the Indian side I'm picking heavy full coverage and two shade lighter than my skin tone I'm going to apply Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter on both sides only on my high points the best way to apply this flawless filter is either use the brush or the tip of your finger it perfectly evens out on the skin there's nothing like Indian makeup when it comes to vibrancy and intricate details they like to focus on high coverage foundation that gives a flawless base I also noticed the reason they like to apply a lighter skin tone foundation is because they want to create their own dimension so on the American side we like to emphasize on the fresh natural look so start with a lightweight foundation that matches your skin tone whether you use a brush or a beauty sponge the goal is to even out the skin tone and create a flawless canvas on both sides so on the American side as you guys can see I put less dots so we can create that natural look so take your time to blend the foundation seamlessly into your skin ensuring an even natural finish this foundation is buildable so I went back and adding some more on the freckle areas to hit my freckles we're using everything cream and then setting it with powder American brides likes to awaken their natural face futures by creating that natural sun sun-kissed look so they definitely love the bronzy look like how Jennifer Lopez looks naturally on daily basis on the Indian side they love the heavy contour because the foundation covered all the natural features of the face so basically made the face look vanish and flat so now we have to bring everything back this is actually perfect if you're someone just starting to be a makeup artist and you want to learn the different culture makeup this would be perfect if 
you're an Indian makeup artist, you want to learn the American way. And if you're an American makeup artist, this would be perfect for you to learn how the Indian makeup is done. For the Indian side, as you guys can see, that sculpted snatch look is coming out. As you guys can see, it's a huge difference. The Indian side looks more sculpted and snatched. On the Indian side, they like the standard application blush. So first smile and then apply the blush on the apples of your cheek, which are the rounded areas that pop up when you smile. This technique is popular in the Asian and Middle East countries. This just gives healthy flush to the cheeks and enhancing the natural shape of the face. On the American side, we like the snatched blush technique, which gives a diffused and airbrushed finish that provides a subtle, natural looking flush to the skin. So concealer for both sides has to be full coverage. The only difference is on the American side, we like to go one or two shades lighter than our foundation, but for the Indian side, they like to go maybe three shade or four shade lighter than their skin tone or their foundation. So for both sides, concealer helps to hide imperfections and brighten the under eye area. So blend nicely to ensure a seamless transition with the foundation and the rest of the makeup. If you want to invest in anything in your beauty, invest in this beauty sponge that I'm using. It's a small beauty sponge that fits perfect in small areas like under the eye. It's only like six or seven bucks from e.l.f. Cosmetics or you can get it from Target. So for the Indian side, I like to set under my eyes with this MAC Cosmetics Press Powder. And by the way, guys, Indian brides and Indian makeup artists, they love using MAC products and their makeup because MAC product is known for very heavy and full coverage type of product. So for the American side, I like to use this Makeup Forever Loose Powder, which gives a seamless finish. Lately, I've been using this powder in my makeup a lot because it gives such a beautiful finish and also keeps my eyes hydrated the whole time and gives a little bit glow to it. Now I'm just going to set the cream bronzer on both sides. On the American side, I'm just going to focus more on the sun-kissed look, more bronzy, like I said, Jennifer Lopez type of a look. And on the Indian side, we're going to keep it very lightly because in Indian culture, bright and vibrant colors hold significant culture and symbolic value. So for example, traditional Indian attires such as saris and langas often feature vivid colors and intricate embellishments. To complement these outfits, Indian makeup style often incorporates bold and rich colors, including bright pinks, reds, oranges, and golds. Now I'm just using a press powder for both sides, making sure everything looks seamless and blended before we move to the eye makeup. So in America, eyebrow shapes can vary widely. Personal preferences and beauty trends can play a significant role. So the current trend tends to focus on the natural looking brows that follows individuals' natural shape. But lately, it's been shifted back to the fuller brows using eyebrow clear gel or eyebrow gel that has little color to it by brushing the brows upward and filling the empty areas with eyebrow gel or eyebrow pencil drawing hair strokes effect. In Indian makeup, full and well-defined eyebrows are very common. So they definitely tend to have a natural thicker appearance with more prominent arch and defined shape. Round shape and arch shape is very common in Indian makeup and they like to follow the natural curvature of their brow bone. To fill in the eyebrow, they like to use darker shades, powder, pencil. So in this case, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder palette. For both of the eyebrows and eyelid, we need to start with smooth canvas. By using a little bit concealer, under the eyebrow bones, make the eyebrow more sharper and smooth, and then the rest can be on the eyelid, making the eyelid also smooth and evened out canvas to start with. I'm gonna use this palette from Luminati Cosmetics, and I'm gonna focus on the neutral colors. So the lighter neutral color is gonna be for the American makeup, and the darker neutral color is gonna be for the Indian makeup. I'm creating the same eye look for both of the sides, but the only difference is for the American side, I'm gonna be using a lighter colors and less pigmentation. So first. I went in with the baby girl and then I went in with Audi shade to create that transition color and then now I'm going in with the rose shade to create that defined smoky eye look. In the US this is a very typical bridal eye makeup look. Very summer tropical fresh subtle look. Now I'm going in with the shade rich in the inner corner of my eyelid. This will open up the eyes more and gives that summer bridal makeup look. So make sure for the American makeup look you want to keep everything very minimal especially on the eyes adding a little bit liner in the inner corners and a little bit on the outer corners keeping it very very thin and short we're gonna use the same colors in the same order for the lower lash use a small brush and keep it very close to your waterline and make sure that blend looks very seamless 
American brides love that white liner on the lower waterline. The white liner makes the eyes brighter, wider, and also defines the eye look. Let's dive in into the Indian makeup eye look. We're gonna be using the same shades that we use on the American makeup look. We're just gonna use more pigmentation and making sure the transition looks very seamless. The two extra eyeshadow shades that I'm adding to this Indian eye look is the Trust, which is the brown, and also the shade Soul, which is the darkest shade in this palette. Like I said earlier, Indian makeup look is more into the bold, rich colors such as gold and deep shades. So the best way to remember the Indian makeup look is to create a very dark, uh, smoky eye look. Adding darker shades of eyeshadow means that you have more work to do. Make sure the lines look very smooth and the transition colors look very blended. Add more shades as you need. Just make it more gradient. I actually have this video tagged above me. Make sure to watch that. It's a very in-depth detail on what to do and not to do when you apply this kind of eyeshadow. This liner is pretty cool and is very common to use in Indian makeup. So basically it darkens the top and bottom waterline at once. This liner is called Kajal and I put a link in my description so you guys can find it. So for the lower lash it's a bit different. First they go with the Kajal on the waterline and then they apply a little bit of the dark color of Kajal under the lashes and then they blend this with darker eyeshadow shade and then they go gradually they go with the lighter shade to create that smoky lower lash look and then go in with a bigger brush to just blend everything and make sure everything looks seamless on the bottom lower lash now I just want to pop the eyes more by adding a little bit highlighters on the eyebrow bone and in the inner corners so for the Indian side I'm using makeup forever highlighter which gives a very bright and glowy highlight and for the American side I'm using a rare beauty less glowy more subtle for the Indian side we need a sharp eyeliner and the inner corner and then sharp outer corner liner but long for the top liner we're just following our eyelid now is the fun part you can do whatever from here on using gold you can create cut crease you can add bedazzles you can add gold in the inner corner or gold in the middle of the eyelid you can be creative and create anything you want but the classic bridal Indian makeup look is the gold and red I'm using this urban decay gold shimmery eyeliner and I'm just creating a cut crease I can take this cut crease all the way out and I can just keep it halfway if I want to first I like to create the cut crease line with a concealer brush above my cut crease making sure where I want the shimmer to go it looks nice then it makes it easy to just draw over the line with the urban decay gold liner to get that bold look we're going with the full lash on the Indian side and on the American side we're going with the individual lashes that goes underneath the lashes which is very trending today and a lot of brides are using that because it gets a very nice natural effect. Mascara for both sides are pretty much the same. Just add enough mascara, make it look nice and sharp. I actually have a video for the individual lashes. If you guys want to learn how to do this individual natural lash, make sure to watch that. I'll tag it above my head so you guys don't miss out on that. American brides tend to focus on the neutral colors such as baby pink, light pink, nude shades, or tropical colors. Indian brides love to embrace bold lip colors like deep reds or vibrant pinks both of the lipsticks that I use in this video are both from L'Oreal I like both of my makeup they both look amazing I do go for a soft glam sometime but I do also go for very very heavy look sometimes so I don't know I love both I want to know what you guys think which one looks good on me the most like the the Indian side or the American side <laughs> If you have a culture in mind that I should compare the American makeup look, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you, give your girl a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. I love you guys like always. Stay amazing, stay wonderful, and love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.